Oggi affronteremo la lezione sul pesce. Today we're going to talk about fish. We're going to see the various products that we commonly find in kitchens like octopus, mollusks, mussels, clams, sea basses and shrimp. We're going to start with octopus. It requires the most time. Uh, it needs 40 minutes of cooking. The octopus we have here is defrosted. Usually octopus you find in the, on the market are usually frozen. This doesn't... this is not a bad thing. It's just a help. A helping thing because the octopus by freezing makes... has like softer fibers and a freshly fished octopus would always be very hard. So it needs to undergo some processes, so we've already aged, uh, quote, our product. So we can we find it already clean, so without any sand and without guts in the head, in here. The only thing we have to do is to remove the eyes, which is here, by making two uh, incisions like this. Removing the eyes to, for two reasons. First of all, if it breaks during the cooking, it dirts everything. And the other reason is that it would it would be it would have a bitter taste that would ruin our product. So let's cut. We're just removing the eyes without detaching the head. Then removing to the tooth, which is here under. So that everything is already clean. And now we're going to submerge it into the broth I already prepared, which is a corbouillon, a vegetable broth aromatized with some white wine. And this corbouillon is usually used for all of the fish preparations or for to steam preparations to steam fish preparations, which is nice and aromatized. So the broth is boiling, we're going to submerge the octopus directly in the water. We're going to wait for the water to boil again and from then we're going to count 40 minutes lowering the temperature of the flame. After 40 minutes we're going to take our octopus. We're going to cut a tentacle to taste the consistency. Usually it should be kind of hardy. I'm going to let it cool down in the cooking water. So, 40 minutes have passed. Our octopus is ready. I'm going to cut it, the, touch it and cut one tentacle. We're going to feel the right consistency. And we're going to let it cool down in its own water until it gets at room temperature so that it gets tender. So, our octopus is being cooling now. I'm going to cut all of the tentacles. So it hasn't lost consistency. And I'm going to prepare a octopus with potatoes. Kind of revisited. Maybe a little bit more alternative to the classic octopus recipes. So once the octopus has been boiled and cooled, then we're going to fry. Here we have oil. We're going to deep fry the octopus. Very, be very careful. The oil must be extremely hot so that it, um, so that a crust creates, um, generates around the octopus, so that it gets golden. And we can remove it. And we're going to go on. The other ingredients are some jacket potatoes, uh, confit tomatoes, some soy with ginger, some black. olive powder, some celery and a green sauce. 
So all of the ingredients of classic um, octopus with potato salad. So we are kind of doing this to make it nice and golden and crunchy. Almost there. So you just need just a few moments if the oil if the oil is extremely hot to make it crunchy, which is what we want. So crunchy on the outside and soft in the inside. Same operation as before. It's ready. Now we're going to cut it into pieces like this to put it in a bowl and we're going to season it with soy sauce and ginger juice and then we're going to take the potatoes that we cooked in a jacket style, so wrapped in some aluminum and seasoned with oil, salt, rosemary, parsley, um, garlic, chili, and cooked for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. We're going to add some garlic and chili oil and parsley to give it some freshness and a color. Avoid to give the classic mm, boiled potato. We made it in this way so that it has a kind of different flavor. If we have some shrimp heads, some waste, we can add it to add some flavor. So we're going to lay our potatoes on the bottom of our mold <coughs> on the dish. Going to take the celery, drop of oil, salt, going to lay it between the potatoes and the octopus to give some freshness. So we're going to place our seasoned octopus. So we're assembling so that it um, so we, that we have a nice volume on the dish. The confit, semi-dried confit tomatoes. They're put at forty-five degrees for six hours in the oven, of course. A little bit of salt, some sugar, rosemary, basil. I'm going to season with black olive powder to give some color, but it's also an ingredient that's quite Nice to have here. We're going to remove our um, mold, which is actually pasta cutter. And we're going to finish off with some green sauce. 